They'll be calling you a radical. All hands on deck. All nuclear fighters. All hands on deck. This is the most important time. Of all of us activists, every one of us, have got to unite together right here, right now. This is the most important time in this propaganda war, this propaganda evil fight. They are throwing the book at us now. And RT, of all people, so-called alternative, alternative, has fallen for this. They put that creep Malcolm up there yesterday. They, I cannot believe even they take the fucking money. They're, the only pure fucking real truth, reality fucking media out there is right here, right now, is YouTube grassroots videos, grassroots investigative journalists. This is how grotesque this fucking sickening nuclearism fucking society has evolved into. We have to counter this machine hard. RT took money, obviously, to put this Malcolm piece of shit. These fuckers have faces and name. Make Malcolm has a face and name. These people, the representative, the fucking Pandora's, Pandora's Promise people. These people, Festinghouse, General Electric, Gina McCarthy, fucking Ernest Monty. These people that are fucking propagandists. They have fake fucking names, houses, places. Look. When is the people going to wake up and realize the nuclear fucking nightmare machine is killing you, murdering you? This is the greatest catastrophe in the history of the world. As I was talking to Jan last night, Miss Milk of the Clown, we had a long conversation. How important this time is, I was telling her and talking to her, this is so important right now. We can't give up right now. This is the time we got to take it in the I know we're tired. I know we're burned out. But we have truth on our side. We have the truth. The popular contemporary drooling masses have no clue. New people are going to be coming into us. We have to redefine the world every day constantly. Look, I reported this today. It's ironic. Now National Geographic, CBS, NBC, all of them are reporting it in print media. It took... National Geographic, so-called scientists, it took them 880 fucking days to report what a fucking old plaster reported in 12 fucking hours. I've been reporting for this D1 in detail. It's been pointing to the Pacific from day fucking one. From day fucking one. Every word I've said has been so Cassandra-like. People say, who's Cassandra? I mean... I, I, I have to redefine every single thing. I had no clue when I went into this how ignorant the fucking American populace is. It's an epidemic of ignorance, and these guys have preyed on this ignorance to murder you for profit. This is cancer death for profit. This is the greatest conspiracy in world history. This is not conspiratorial in the contemporized fashion, the past. It is Conspiracy for millenniums. It is Mother Earth. We are fucking murdering. I love all you people. Oh, we love dolphins. Cliche. Oh, we love whales. Let's go. Cliche. Let's. Oh, we love the ocean. Oh, look at that blue. Cliche. You don't give a fuck about nothing but yourself. Fucking sucked up a dog self. I will say this to the to the nuclear industry and its fucking ignorant supporters. I simply say this. Oh, feel you. There's fennel for you and combines. There's rue for you and here's some for me. We may call it herb of grace on Sundays. Oh, you must wear your rue with a difference. There's a daisy. I would give you some violets, but they wildered all when my father died. They say he made a good end. Kevin DeWayne Blanche on this painful day. I did an interview a month ago. I talked to Lonnie Clark a month ago. I talked to Thomas Ackerman a month ago. And I says, they said, how's this? I said, this is going to blow up. I can sense that I can feel it. It's going to, something serious is going to happen between 8, 6, and 8, 9. And they're like, why? And I says, that's the hallowed sacred time. That's the hallowed sacred time that we dropped those bombs in Japan. And I understand the pain. Oh, do I understand it. I lived the country in Western Virgin Hamlet. I watched my father die, nuked to death in the Nevada test site. What we've done to the Japanese, but it's what we've done to the populace here. It's Westinghouse, it's General Electric, it's the nuclear, as Megan Rice calls it nuclearism. It's evil. I'm not going to fold a paper crane. I want to take a, I would like to fold a paper crane, well, not even a paper crane. I would like to fold my fist right into their fucking mouths. We have fought this so soft. They have been passive aggressive evil devils from hell. This is the nuclear industry are fucking the devils from hell. They are fucking mass murdering us. The limits were raised by Radnet. This is the greatest conspiracy in the history of mankind. 
This dwarfs the fucking Lance Armstrong conspiracy, the banker conspiracy. This fucking shatters 9-11. 3-11 happened exactly six months to the day before 9-11. 311 is fucking going to kill millions, hundreds of millions of more times than 9-11. 311 is, the, is the biggest conspiracy in the history of humanity. I, I'll say it a million times over and over. And, you know, two years ago I put up all my finance videos on finance. This is when I usually adjust my portfolios. This is when I do. Of course, then I got leukemia. I got leukemia seven months after Fukushima. After I rant and raid carried on, was given less than one chance to live. Am I the heir of Cassandra? Go through my videos. I'm starting to believe that I am. Wow. I mean, it's almost, it is freaky. I was asked yesterday, Kevin, you called the top exactly at 1900 on gold. You called the top on silver at 45. You told everybody two years ago to double down on the Dow, go crazy at 9700 when everybody was saying to get out. You've been freaking deadly. You, you, you've made so much money. Yeah, I forked it all over to get in that leukemia unit, every penny that I had, every fucking nine. So I was asked yesterday, what would I buy? Simply, Thomas Ackerman's art. Thomas Ackerman, the painter. He's the only guy painting in the Fukushima genre. I've painted some in the Fukushima genre. He and I have worked together on some, but his paints, seriously, I'm seriously. <laughs> I had 100 grand, I'd be buying up 100 grand of his paintings right here, right now. This is exploding. This is exploding. It's not going away as we said the whole time. You think this is going away? It's not fucking going away. You in denial, ignorant fucking drooling masses, and you fucking media. I'll tell you what, and all you hands on deck. Fucking Tony down in Florida, fucking Troy up in fucking Vancouver, fucking all you great activists, Shane up in Canada, Marine in New York City, fucking Joni Ray down there in South Huntington Beach, all you think, Kathy Ewan, Gene Stone down there, all of us, every fucking one of us, all us video mixers, every fucking one of us. Remember this, this is important. Do not let these media whores off the hook. You're going to get the Sanchez Guptas, the CNN, the ABC, the CBS, the NBC, the BBC, the Reuters. These people that intentionally, they didn't just overlook it. They intentionally downplayed it. I'll read the Sanchez Gupta over and over and over again. Do not let these fuckers off the hook. These fucking paid whores. This Malcolm, these paid fucking whores. Do not. Let them off the hook. They want to come out 808 days. Oh, they report as it was reported the French. Oh, the day one. Oh, National Guard day one says this is the greatest marine disaster in the history of thing. Day one. When everybody was telling us all over the American fucking media, the nuclearism cartel, these evil DOE fucking cartel, fucking Gina McCarthy belongs in her prison cell. Ernest Bond's in her prison cell. Lisa Jackson in her prison fucking cell. All these fucking creepy. Do not let these fuckers off the hook. Do not let them back door say, oh, we didn't know. They fucking knew. Stand your fucking ground. Mix videos, do what you got. All hands on deck. This is the more important time in the history of humanity. This story right here, right now. Fire back. Fight with everything you have right here, right now. Stay tuned.